Hey Tekken players, hope you're all doing well. This is just a quick one on the Tekken 8 demo, and it's how to do some reliable bread and butter combos with Paul. Now, as many of you know, I am a king main, but he's not in the demo, so I've mainly been playing Paul. I have made a video suggesting Paul is one of the best characters to pick up to learn how to actually play Tekken, and I'll hang fire on whether I still hold his opinion until Tekken 8 releases, but there's a good chance that he's still a great character to use if you want to learn the fundamentals of Tekken. Now, as some of you may know, if I learn a side character, rather than learning every single optimal combo route, I like to learn a basic structure that I can use for 90% of the time, so that's what I've been working on with Paul. So with all that out of the way, let me explain the Paul combo structure I've been using. So the following pickup and filler will work for the following launches. Down for two. Hop kick. Shredders. Back three. Quad circle forward one. And forward two and other heat dash moves. So basically all of his staple launches. The pickup I got is down forward 4, then 3 2, back sway 1 plus 2 for the tornado flip. Just a couple of things to mention. Number 1, you can add an extra jab after down forward 4 to get a bit more wall carry. And the second, if you have the execution and want to flex, you can get a quarter circle forward 1 before the down forward 4. But that is pretty tricky to do, and I wouldn't recommend it unless you really want to be a solid pool main. That being said, the timing is much more relaxed after a heat burst, so you may want to use that in that situation. Now, when it comes to enders, you have basically two options. Ending on a demo man, which will give you the most wall travel, especially if you land the just frame version, which seems to land them higher up the wall. In open field, you can do just the running two, or, for a bit more damage, you can do a jab after the tornado and then a running two. This is quite tight, but it's much easier to do than it would have been in Tekken 7. Now, both the Demo Man and the Jab to Running 2, as far as I can see, do the same damage. But the Demo Man gives no Oki at all as it knocks him far away, whereas the Oki situation for the Suplex gives a bit more options. So, I'd judge the Ender based on where the wall is. Just to mention as well, another solid route is just do another back 1-2 to knock them out of the wall. So, here's a few samples and examples of this staple move I've been using. Now, there's a couple of exceptions that we do need to mention. If you land a while standing 2, for some reason down forward 4 won't pick up, so your best option is 3 2, then 3 2 sway and continue as normal. I'm sure there's other options, but like I said, I just want to keep the combo structure quite similar all around. Also, for count take quarter circle back 4 and quarter circle back 1 plus 2, the timing is much easier to do the quarter circle forward 1 for the pickup. So the easy mode is launch, quarter circle forward 1, 3 2 sway back 1-2. Or, the slightly harder but better damage option is quad circle forward 1 for the pickup, then forward 2, down forward 4, 3-2 sway 1 plus 2. Note that to get the ender you have to run up really close otherwise it will whiff. Anyway, I hope that helps if you're playing the demo. Like I've said in other videos, I have a lot of new guides specifically aimed at new players for Tekken 8, so be sure to subscribe to not miss them. Thanks guys, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Yeah.